Welcome to the Margin Edge Bill Pay webinar. Margin Edge Bill Pay allows you to pay any AP that you've uploaded to Margin Edge through us at no additional cost, unlimited payments included in your subscription. In this webinar, we're going to run through how to make payments and incorporate our Bill Pay feature into your payments workflow, as well as uh, how to get set up for this feature. So first things first, we'll go to the uh, bill pay tab on the left and go to the bill pay invoices screen. This screen here is the, the whole tab is available to anyone, any user that has an accountant or margin edge admin role in margin edge. So this screen shows all invoices that have been closed to AP from vendors that are enabled for bill pay. You can filter, we have a bunch of filters and sorts you can do to organize all the information in the way that's most preferable. So we could sort by, by due date, by vendor. You could filter to only look at specific vendors. Uh, it's highly configurable. In order to view invoices and review them before you decide to pay them, you can, you have a number of options. You can either click on the, uh, on the invoice number and it'll show you what was uploaded or you can select a number of invoices that you'd like to review before paying and uh, go to the other actions drop down and click view invoices and it'll show you all of them at once if you would like to partially pay something you can edit the, the payment amount in this column here so this bill's for 896.51, but if we only wanted to pay 800 right now, we could do that, and you'll see the amount gets adjusted. Uh, if you would like to uh, pay, a, send a credit, you can uh, apply a credit. You can do that as well. So here we see a $198 credit from Profish. We'll select that. We just need to make sure that there are some positive Profish invoices so that we're not sending a negative payment and we can see that that's the case. So once you're ready to pay, click review and pay. This screen shows you a summary of all the payments that are about to be sent out. So we can see the vendor, we can get the invoice summary. Here we have two invoices and a credit. Uh, we can see the, the payment type. So we send payments in one of two ways. Uh, we have a growing list of vendors that we're able to pay electronically. So if the vendor that you're paying is on that list, we're going to automatically pay them electronically. And you'll see that it, it'll say electronic right here. Uh, otherwise, we're going to pay them with check. Uh, electronic payments take uh, three to four business days while the checks take five to seven business days. Uh, we schedule all payments for the next business day by default. That's the earliest we send payments. Um, if you'd like to schedule the payments for later, you can do that as well. So again, we, it's the 21st by default because today's the 20th. Uh, if we wanted to send them all the 27th, they would all update and you can edit individuals ones as well. Uh, we include all of the remittance info on the check stubs and the electronic payment remittances. So that includes the account number we have on file as well as all of the invoice dates and numbers and amounts. Once you're ready to send the payments, you can click confirm payments. This is a, does a few things. One, and most importantly, we send the payments out as scheduled. Uh, two, all of these payments are going to be synced over to your accounting system uh, if you have a compatible accounting uh, system. We have, we have a list that includes QuickBooks Desktop, Online, Xero, and Intact, uh, plus several others. If you want to see if your accounting system is compatible, you can check out the help articles uh, on, our, on, our, on our website. So we send the payments as scheduled. We export the payment details to your accounting system to mark those invoices invoices is paid and move the liability from accounts payable over to the bank account that you use. 
Um, and we keep a record of all payments that uh, we sent on your behalf. So that's the where we're going to go now, the bill pay payments screen. This screen shows all payments that have been uh, sent and their statuses. So if you'd like to have an audit trail and review a payment that was sent, you can select the payment, you can go to view payments and view payment and backup docs. Here you can see what the payments look like. You see uh, your company information in the top left. And then down here on the check stub, we have the account number that we have on file, as well as all the uh, invoices that are being paid with this check. And when you scroll down, you can see the actual invoices themselves. It's a helpful auto trail. This last column here shows you the status of the payment. And that's it for the day-to-day -day, uh, operations. Um, in order for all this to get set up, we need a, a couple things. Uh, one, we need a bank account. Two, we need to make sure that this screen here, this bill pay invoices screen, is showing only unpaid invoices from vendors that you actually want to pay with margin edge bill pay. So let's start with the bank account. In order to add a bank account, you go to Bill Pay Setup and click Manage Bank Accounts. First, you want to put your company information as is, is you want it to appear on payments. Uh, the easiest way to do this is just to take out your checkbook for whatever bank account you're adding and just write copy down whatever's in the top left corner. Then you can actually add the bank account details. And again, all this information would be would be on every check that you send. So we need a routing number, an account number, an account holder name, the account holder type. This is nearly always a company. Uh, the check sequence. So by default, we set this to a million. This is the start of the check sequence for mar payments written out in margin. Uh, we just do this so it doesn't overlap. It's highly unlikely it'll overlap with any existing check sequence for this bank account. If you do have a check sequence that starts with a million, you can change this to something else that makes it so it won't overlap um, in the future. Say two million. Uh, in the signature box, you can either uh, uh, draw in a uh, signature. I, I, if you're going to draw, I would. Uh, recommend using a stylus on a touchpad just so there's no chance that the bank would reject it because the signature looks low quality. Um, alternatively, you can just drag and drop a picture of your signature into this box here and that'll work as well. Uh, down here, the payment account drop down. This is a list of all uh, accounts in your general ledger, in the general ledger of your accounting system. So we just want to select the one that corresponds with the bank account that you're entering here. So we know, uh, so we're able to export payments to your accounting system. Finally, you can authorize margin edge for electronic payments and then click preview check and save. So that's the bank account. The second part was making sure that we only see vendors that uh, on the bill pay invoices screen that we actually want to pay. And for those vendors, we'll need remittance information, remittance address information, as well as payment terms so we can calculate the due date. So to do that, we're going to go to bill pay setup and go to manage bill pay vendors. This screen is a comprehensive list of all vendors that have uh, we've gotten invoices from uh, for your restaurant. We enable bill pay for all vendors. Um, so you're going to have to go through and select the vendors that you do not want to pay with bill pay. Maybe because you pay them with credit card or they're auto debiting your account using ACH. Maybe it's check on delivery. Whatever the reason is, uh, you're not going to pay them with margin edge. And so if that's the case, you just want to select them go to the bulk actions item, and then click disable for bill pay. 
this will change the pay with bill pay uh, column to a no. So what you're left with is a list of vendors that you do want to pay with, with margin edge. So that's what all these yeses are right here. Uh, what we need to make sure is that we have a remit remittance address and payment terms. So that's what this vendor configured column means. So when we click, we can see that Adam's Birch has been configured. So when we click on it, we see that we're actually pulling this information from the accounting system. Uh, and we've got the, the recipient name, this is what appears on the check, as well as the address. And down here, we can see that the terms that we're pulling in from, from QuickBooks is 30-day uh, net terms, um, as well as the accounting number, account number. Uh, for ones that aren't configured, so Microsoft Store, we can see that it says no for vendor configured. We can click in, and the uh, we can either pull the information from the accounting system, or we can enter it manually. So we'll try pulling in the information. It looks like we don't have that information in the accounting system. So we're just going to put the information in here. Let's say it's seven day net terms. And once we click save, we can see that they are now configured. So now that we have, have enabled all the vendors that we want to pay, and we've made sure that we have remittance information and payment terms for those vendors, we just need to do one more step in order to be ready to go. So I mentioned before, this screen is showing all AP from vendors that are enabled for bill pay. Uh, however, there, if you're getting set up now, there's likely a number of invoices on here that you've already paid. And so we need to get them off the screen so you don't end up double paying them. Uh, to do that, I typically like to sort by due date, showing the oldest first. I select the invoices that have been already paid. We'll say all of these. If you hold shift, you can select a range. And then we're going to click other actions and click mark as paid externally. This will remove these invoices from the screen. And that's it. Your invoices screen is going to show all of the invoices that you have uh, that are unpaid that you actually want to pay with margin edge.